special channel. In this video tutorial, I'll be showing you a lot of uh, shortcut in Google Earth Pro. Uh, it will be helpful for your uh, uh, operating Google Earth Pro. So let us have a look at the shortcuts which is available in Google Earth Pro. So here, I am going to go to the location Sundarbans. The first thing is that how we need to stabilize our image. That is what I am going to show you. So what is the shortcut for it? So for example, I have just uh, zoomed into this location and uh, you could see I have uh, zoomed in pretty much to the location. You could find the vegetation as well, but the image is tilted. How to correct it? So in order to correct, it, correct the image or to stabilize the image, we have to press the button R so that, so that the image will be stabilized and uh, your digitization process uh, from the Google Earth will be much more accurate and the image will be much more accurate for doing any kind of analysis. So always please do keep in mind by pressing the button R you can stabilize the image. So we shall move to the next shortcut. So in order to move the scenes uh, without pressing the mouse button you can directly use the keyboards and uh, four key you can be used for moving this up down left and right. W can be used to move the screen up as you can see here. S yes can be used to come down to the screen. S yes can be used for that. A can be used to move the screen to the left direction. D to move the screen to the right direction. Once again, W for moving the screen upwards. S for moving the screen downward. A for moving the screen rightward, sorry, leftward. And finally, D for moving the screen, screen rightward. So this is the second shortcut. You can directly copy the images from Google Earth to PPT Word by using a shortcut. So you can see it in the option, edit. You can just see Control plus Alt plus C. If you press it, or you can use this button, Control Alt plus C and you can directly paste the image in the Word document or you can directly uh, paste the image in the PPT or Paint. So you can uh, easily do it using this method. We need to just press in the Control Alt plus C. And the second thing is that we are going to see how to copy the lo location directly from Google Earth. So for example, I'm just, uh, this is my location. So I'm just viewing, I need to directly copy the that long of this uh, location. For that, you just have to go to the option edit. You can see the option copy view location. So the shortcut is control shift plus C. Just press the button or you can use the uh, shortcut key to copy the location of the the region's location that is lat long that you can paste it in the word or PPT anything like that you can do. So this is the third uh, shortcut. Now going back to the Google Earth. So in the next step, we'll see how to add the scale in the Google Earth. So you can, uh, you, you can also add scale to the image. Once again, press the R button. Now you can uh, go to the option view. And here you can uh, set the, uh, check the scale legend. You can check over here the scale of this imagery. So you can check in the scale of the image by pressing by using the view and selecting the scale legend option. You can also use the overview map so that it will be uh, showing you in the globe where are you located right now that you can see your see over here. So we have we have we have been located over this region. So you can do this by selecting overview map. You can enable it, you can disable it. And uh, likewise, uh, many options are available. I'm just removing the scale legend and we just go back to the next feature. You can also make it a full screen. You can make this uh, Google Earth Pro to full screen. Go to the option view and you can select the option full screen so that it will be a uh, much more uh, bigger and you can utilize the screen fully 
you can just directly press the button F11 to select this option. You can see full screen F11. You can uh, select it once again to bring it back to the normal position. So some of you might have experienced this. Some, some of you might have seen the sidebar might be missing. So you can see here right now we are having the sidebar. So what to do if you don't have the sidebar? That is what I am going to show you in the next step. So now you can see here we don't have the sidebar. So how to bring the side back, back in to the display? You can press the button over here sidebar. Otherwise if you don't find it over here go to the option view and here you can find the option sidebar over here. You can enable it. Sorry you can disable it. You can enable it directly over here by selecting the view and selecting sidebar. So this is one of the method. You can see the shortcut for the sidebar control alt plus p you can bring in the uh, bring in and bring back the uh, sidebar so you can see uh, how to bring the uh, grids inside the google earth it is uh, very much easy you just have to press control plus l to bring the grids in the google earth you can see here the grid has been come up you can once again press Ctrl plus L in order to take it off. So that also can be found in the option view. Here you can see the grid option which is available. Ctrl plus L. You can bring in the grid also. So this is one of the shortcut. So the next thing is that we are going to find, we are going to see how to find the uh, location which you saved in the my places that we'll be showing you over here. You can see there are a lot of uh, places which has been uh, found in the my places so how to bring it uh, easily so press the button ctrl plus f and you will be having a small tab over here you can also check it in the edit toolbar sorry uh, you can check in the edit toolbar you can find the option you can find the uh, features which you have saved it in my places by pressing the button Ctrl plus F. You can see a small uh, tab has been appeared over here. So I have saved the file called as cross section. So if I type here the cross section file is appearing and let me uh, check another place uh, survey location. You can see here it has been auto automatically highlighted view shed you can see here it has been automatically highlighted so you can find easily by using this uh, uh, shortcut ctrl plus f to find the feature which you have saved in you can also check in the temporary file folders so likewise you can easily find the feature which you have saved in to the my places you can also bring the historical images go to the option view here you can select the option historical imagery and you can just go back to the time and see the historical image so we don't have a historical image for this region so let me go to the Washington and hit the button search now let me close this and you can see this is the Washington in USA so for this let me show you the historical image once again go back to the view and select the button historical imagery and now you can see the image which is available in the year 1950 you can check in over here so historical images are also present in the Google Earth Google Earth Pro you can check it so this is one of a shortcut you can also use this button to bring the historical imagery or just uh, view in the time scale timeline you can use this clock like symbol show historical imagery you can use it you can use the measurement tool for measuring the roads or uh, length between two locations that can be easily done using the measurement tool here you can see I can just measure the road you can see that it is uh, having the units as kilometers 0.31 so thanks for watching geospatial channel this is a quick uh, uh, shortcuts in google earth in 10 minutes thanks for watching
गुड बाय